Hey there, sign of Scorpio. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. That will make it January 25th. So we're going to draw some oracle cards, and we're going to use the tarot at the end, see where it lands, what kind of messages it wants to give us. And then after that, the tea leaves. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Um, so we're going to uh, call in the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading and surround you as you watch the reading, calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio with the archetype deck first. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Oh, the forest. The forest. Okay. So the forest talks about in order to be found, we have to get ourselves lost and immersed in what's known as the forest. So you see the little entry. It can be the exit too to the forest. And we know to expect some dark, shady things on our path. And you can almost look at the forest with life in general, getting through the forest, finally finding your way. And also when you're in the forest, realizing that there's positive things um, that lurk around the trees, that, like fairies and things like that, other than just this darkness and the shadow. Know that it's okay to feel lost sometimes because that is just the nature of the forest. All right, so let's get some oracle cards from this deck, the spell casting deck for Scorpio right away, grieving. Hmm. For Scorpio, what else for Scorpio? Boundaries. Boundaries, needing to set boundaries, possibly that somebody may be taking or overstepping their boundaries with you, yourself or your home, and there might be a need to set boundaries. There she is in the forest too, on the picture, just like the forest up there. Maybe that needing to find your boundaries and needing to state them is part of this journey. Um, grieving card, it can mean grieving of a person but there's transformation through this grieving. There's also transition through this grieving. So it may be about things like career, um, transitioning, changing from one thing to another. Grieving though, the loss of something that um, ultimately, you know, change was gonna happen anyway, but all, you know, all change is not, it's not easy. It's usually something that we, I don't necessarily think fight all the time, but it's something that we can get kind of sad about things changing. Let's put those like that. Let's get you some wisdom from the Oracle next. And these will become a little bit more clear when we use the tarot to figure out why some of these cards are here. Wisdom of the Oracle for Scorpio, please, Spirit, and thank you. Ooh, nice. All right, grieving, grieving. So when we're grieving, we're not living in the here and now, are we? I mean, unless we're in the middle of a trauma happening, then right now, here and now is coming out to say, um, maybe this grieving, you know, over something from in the past needs to be dealt with so that we can live in the here and now, and then we can appreciate the positive things on our path from this point forward without dwelling on some of the things from our past. Some of the things that keep us lost in the forest is being tied to memories that we can't seem to shake which I think happens to everybody, but let's see. Let's get you some cards from the Energy Oracle. 
for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, we have door to value on the bottom. Nice. Man holding a coin. Patience. Understanding the anxiety that comes with having to wait for something to get stable again. This is divine timing at play. This is like the um, temperance card. We could be dealing with Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is some anxiety in this picture. Like I said, I think it's anxiety because of waiting. And then some of the things you experience in the forest while waiting, while trying to have some patience with this, this has to grow and be at your vibration before it materializes. So the anxiety is just kind of making things worse because we're living in the future usually when we have too much anxiety, thinking the what ifs and the what could be. So we get depressed when we live in the past too much. All right, let's get some tarot and let's see if we can clarify some of these cards for you, Scorpio. All right, Tara, what do you have to say to Scorpio? All right, patience, boundaries for you do, maybe doing too much, taking too much on. Um, something has become like a burnout burden, feeling like you're having to take on all the weight. This, is, this will be resolved in, with divine timing. 10 is ending, so this will be an ending to this burdensome issue. And I definitely think with boundaries being here that you're taking on too much that could be broken down and shared. All right, so hang in there with divine timing. We're Scorpio. All right, grieving. And man holding a coin, we have King of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a masculine energy of creating something new. So maybe something that's gone that you're grieving over. Something brand new starts to blossom. Something that you create that you're like an entrepreneur for. And it's going to end up giving you your pinnacles too. This person is really good at business and, and getting their things going, like the action part of um, implementing a plan. They're very good at it. So we have a lot of masculine or creating energy here. All right, let's get some more. Woo. <laughs> There's the waiting again. All right, so we may need to wait for this grieving to pass. Obviously, time heals all wounds. So there is some waiting, maybe Virgo with the boundary issues. Then we have lovers with the patience. It, maybe we're waiting on a big decision. Maybe we have to make a decision with somebody else and spirits inviting themselves to help you with that. This may be about patients waiting on a divine partnership. There's something, something that we are waiting for that's connected with all of this. It's connected with your manifestation too. Let's get another card. There we go. That just kind of landed in my hands. But four of pentacles. Don't be too greedy or don't let somebody be too greedy with your time, your space, your energy. Uh, guard your energy, but don't be shut out. Um, invest in yourself. Just don't burn out. Don't, don't get to burn out phase. We do have the nine of swords on the bottom. So that's just kind of further clarifying uh, anxiety and insomnia issues. And then there's the chariot. So there you go. We've got a journey or like our forest card, our journey into a victory of some sort. I think this is in in one area of your life. It's, it's whatever you're grieving change over. There will be something new, something uh, created by you that's going to lead to a victory. And 
you know, we also have balance in this card. We do have hills to still go over, but it's very doable with the chariot. And in fact, this will come in, the news will come in faster than you're thinking. So we might know that we're waiting for something, but news might come in faster than you're thinking. You may be pleasantly surprised. All right, let's get you some tea leaves, Scorpio. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that forest on top of the forest. Muddled, unclear thinking, maybe because of being lost at the moment. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. Bowl, plenty of material things. Definitely the king of pentacles there. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead, and that landed on patience. It might feel like burnout, but you are getting ahead. And then look at that. Coins, money will be coming to you for sure with that pentacle energy. All right, so this is a journey. Don't get lost in some of the past or future energy. Realize that you are in the forest. Some of these feelings you're meant to go through and feel and process. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me. Join me for your next reading. Sending love and light out to you. Bye.